pressure ramps we up begin in Brazil, the streets which and is in the facing media against the battle of Brazil. 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 White middle class folks who do not like the Workers' Party from the beginning, I guess. And this sentiment has been fed and also augmented or increased by the media.
United States government, U.S. officials before Congress, and in the public eye, vehemently denied that they played any role in that coup. And it has happened so many times in the past. Documents ultimately emerged years later that showed that not only was the U.S. supportive of that coup, but played a direct role in helping to plot it and plan it and stage it and then prop up that dictatorship for 21 years. And then in 1964, there was a U.S.-backed military coup against the democratically elected government of Django Goulart. And at that time, the military said, oh, we're just coming in to maintain order. And so what you have now is not really a repeat of the 1964 coup. It's not really responsible to say it's identical. And so what a lot of uh, people who I've talked to here are saying is that we're in a similar period, whereas in 2016, there was an illegal impeachment uh, for a non-impeachable offense against Dilma Rousseff. The leading media outlets in Brazil that also hated the left-wing government because it was against their oligarchical interests um, justified and supported that coup. They depicted it as necessary to uproot corruption in this left-wing government. You had the same media factions, Globo and the, the families who own it um, and other media outlets that still persist today, um, agitating in favor of the coup and then ultimately supporting the military dictatorship. And so you have similarities um, in terms of the anti-democratic processes at work um, that prevailed in 1964 and throughout Latin America and so many other um, years where the United States was, was at the center of. Some groups are even demanding military intervention to topple the government they call communist. State Department fellow, the judge in charge of all of these camps come here and underline the bill. And so he seems well to actually got to start with the 2004 policy established State Department that has been provided suspicion as well after having been hand picked by the U.S. ambassador to Brazil to come to the United States for a training program. Now, this judge has stated explicitly himself that his model is the Italian. Said that he learned this technique of taking people accused of corruption uh, crime, trying them in the media, then preventively arresting them without bail until they're tried, using their period of incarceration to squeeze them so that they will snitch on other people on real or made up corruption and get the thing to spread that way. He said that he learned that from the American justice system. I mean, first of all, there was no economic growth, almost no economic growth per person for 23 years before Lula was elected. And so you had this uh, decade all the way from, you know, 2003 to 2014, where you had real achievements. You know, the uh, poverty rate was reduced by 55%, extreme poverty by 65%. You even had some reduction in quality. 76% increase in the real inflation adjusted minimum wage. Every single tap in the Brazil that broke the deal economic power was due to the politics of the last 12 years that 40 million people went out of poverty. And what you are expecting and telling here is not true. Let's hope Brazil is a bad schema and that people will not stay there. Mercosur is not accepted the actual government. And I think it's a, it, it shows something very uh, unflattering about the international media, of course, the Brazilian media as well, that they don't respect that. That they don't respect that government for that. They don't see the contrast between that government and what you have now.